Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I'm here to solve your masking problems. This is Cutting Holes in Masks. <music> All right, this is a real common problem that a ton of people get. They expect the invert or the inverse setting to be subtract. Let me show you the, the problem. So I've got a clip selected in the effects control panel. I do, okay, there we go. Wow. And if you rotate down the opacity setting, you can see I have a mask. And if I turn that on and off, you can see I've just done a quick mask around uh, her uh, just as a simple overall mask. Now, let's say I wanted to also mask her eyes, the inside of, of the glasses. Uh, so if we add another mask by clicking here on the ellipse, it adds another mask, but it's actually adding to this. It's not subtracting to this. So let's try it. We'll make it small, drag it over top. And what a lot of people will do is they'll go to mask two, which is this mask, and they'll click on this inverted button. And that's what happens. And a lot of people will think, Premiere Pro is wrong, it's making a mistake. It's not wrong. This is how inverted masks work. They're not subtracting. I've got a whole tutorial that I'll link to at the end about the difference between After Effects uh, masks and Premiere Pro masks. What After Effects has are mask modes. Premiere Pro doesn't have them. And one of those modes in After Effects is subtract. So you would set the mask mode for this mask as subtract and it would cut a hole in mask. Now, I, I used to just tell people that and say, get on with it, go on your way. And until I figured out a way to have a subtract mask, kind of, in Premiere Pro. Let me show you that. So let's go over to this guy here. And instead of using the opacity mask, I don't even use that. I'm using an effect called alpha adjust. So you can see this is one clip with multiple masks. So I've got a mask going around the outside, and then I've got the mask on each one of her eyes. And I've tracked these as best I can. I mean, the tracking in Premiere Pro is not the greatest. Um, if you really want to do good quality roto work, rotoscoping, Mocha in After Effects or Mocha Pro, but I digress. So where do you get this? In the effects, look for alpha, adjust. There it is. It's in the keying. And the very first mask is inverted. And the bottom is set to invert alpha. So this is made up of several parts when you add this, this mask. Um, it's First of all, however many masks you draw will show up here, but then it's got this opacity setting at the bottom where you need to invert the alpha. The very first mask you draw needs to be inverted, and then all the rest of the masks are just regular masks. So if I make another mask, that's going to be another hole cut in this. And it can be a, a the rectangle uh, mask, it can be uh, anything, and we can, you know, start doing some crazy things here with uh, all of these masks. So if you wanted to cut the mask two masks out of the middle of a full frame, then you would do this. So let me just... Uh, drop her in here. So now if I just want to cut the holes out of uh, her glasses, but not her, then I'm going to zoom out. I'll go back and grab my effects, alpha adjust, and I'm going to draw a big one around the outside 
and invert that and invert alpha. And you won't notice any difference. But now if I add another mask, now I've cut a hole in this. So if, if we show our transparency grid, you can see now I've got a hole. And if I add another one, I got another hole. And if I got a rectangle, I got a hole. And if I draw some kind of, whoop. Now, here's the only thing. With the pen tool, it will do that. So the rest of them, because when you draw with an ellipse and a rectangle, they have a closed path. When you draw with a pen tool, it's not closed until you draw that. So as soon as you click on the pen tool, it will disappear. So you've got to turn this off. Um, and now you draw the shape and then turn the mask back on. So you can't get around that, but at least with Alpha Adjust, you can finally, yes, finally cut holes in masks anywhere inside it, which is kind of like the subtract mask thing in After Effects. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this very informative tutorial that I've seen nowhere else, uh, if you found it useful, take a moment and subscribe because I got more things like this where I just take hours and hours and I poke around in Premiere Pro and find some cool stuff. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through our store, videoreveal.com. You can donate once or monthly any amount. There's a bunch of free stuff to download and some cool things that you can buy there on the store. Hey, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep poking around inside Premiere Pro and, and bump up against the stuff that doesn't work, and I'll find a way to make it work for you.